Hi guys, um, I've been asked a lot the last few days to do a quick energy reading on Johnny Depp and Amber Heard to see what's going on there with their energies. Um, I did hear as bad as each other, okay, but what I mean about that is just because I said that it doesn't necessarily mean, I did hear the word heavy handed as well, but I do feel a lot of this is, I hear the word antagonising as well, which I feel is a lot from Amber, okay, uh, pushing him to the brink. Now, I'm not saying it's okay for anyone to lay a hand on anyone, okay? I want to get that across now. I'm just saying what's coming through, okay? Antagonising, pushing him to the brink, and he does have addictions, okay? I feel he's over the worst of them now, but he wasn't in a good place, and the whole connection was just toxic as hell, and it's one of those ones that's so volatile when they do come together, it's going to go from one to ten. But overall, his energy would not be reaching out to really try and hurt somebody does that make sense it's almost like heavy-handed in a way that um i don't know if any of you have ever had a, a struggle or um you know if you hold your hands up or try and push some away somebody away but when you're actually under the influence of drugs or alcohol heavy-handed heavy-handed so that came across the heavy-handedness um antagonizing antagonizing and i kept hearing pushing to the brink and i do feel that's about pushing him to the brink here okay but overall his energy wasn't coming across as um i'd say highly emotional not not now by the way guys and what about then the, the past energy highly emotional and i hear broken down as well broken down broken down just broken down broken down Piece by piece, I just heard, piece by piece. So let's just have a look at the energy of this reading. I also did hear his main thing is to clear his name, clear his name. This isn't really about the money for him. The money would help him. He doesn't really see it like that as much. It's more about, I kept hearing the whole time, clearing his name, clear my name, just say, clear my name, clear my name, clear my name. So that's what's most important for him. Now, he's not in denial that he doesn't have addictions and he's done some stuff where he smashed things up as well. And he will take his part in it. He will take his part in it. But I do feel going ahead, the whole court case will be when he did get heavy handed or reacting in a certain way, he was under the influence or going over again. I hear emotional trauma at the time. Um, emotional trauma at the time. And um, oh man, I just had another word that came up about Amber. About Amber. Which is, you know, they said about the video, she's filmed it. I did hear well thought out, well thought out and caught in the act, caught in the act. So it's definitely been well thought out about the filming. Oh my God, guys, no joke. I just heard filming locations. So I do wonder if some of these films have actually been set up in certain places um, for that purpose. So I just heard filming locations, setting up filming locations. So in a way, the energy is almost like bad as each other is in the addictions, the... I couldn't really say anger as such because I... I do feel her anger is coming through and I hear past wounds there. So her anger is really coming through with him. It's more like um, a bear. Don't poke the sleeping bear. It's almost like it's not a consistent anger with Johnny, his energy. It's not like he's constantly angry, angry. It's more like hurting inside than being really angry or rage driven. Uh, where I do feel Amber is more to prove a point here. To prove a point. Okay, it's just it's just not great energy. It's really not great energy. It's almost like one has the energy of addiction and the other is more the energy of um, past wounds and past trauma. Right. <clears throat> let's just look at Johnny Depp's energy. We're going to pull some cards and then let's pull some cards to Amber. Let's just see what we've got here. I will get a proper filming, guys, where I can film the cards looking down. Oh, no. Ooh. We're getting some interesting cards here. Really interesting cards. Amber. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, the good news is, I will say about Johnny, is the tower here, the tower is actually reversed for Johnny. So if the tower was this way up, it means things falling down, completely crashing, okay? But for the tower, I do feel the worst is over for him. I do feel the worst is over for him. It's almost like the tower is still not a great card anyway, guys, no matter what. But I just get the sense the worst is over for him now, okay? It's not going to go really, really downhill. 
Uh, I don't feel it's going to go dramatically downhill after this because this is actually I just it's already reversed. I can't explain it. Oh, it's hard for me to put into words what the, the images and that I'm picking up because we've also got the three of cups, which means the third party here. So as in, I think he's going to come across that she was actually involved with somebody else and there was somebody else involved in their relationship when they were together. Um, and I hear like he's going to say that she wasn't faithful and there's going to be there's rumours already, apparently, and this information is actually going to be starting to come up as well. This is actually going to be coming up. Right, let's have a look here as well. And again, then we have the Queen of Wands, which is almost like how he sees her. So the Queen of Wands it is, is usually for actress. Actresses are kind of along that line because it's the very creative people in life. The artists, the actors, the painters, the readers, the writers, they have a lot of creativity, but this is all her qualities reversed the other way. So very, very domineering, almost like a very controlling energy here, her way or the highway. So it's almost like all the good qualities have been turned over. So it's gone completely the other way for how he sees her anyway, literally. Like all the qualities he saw to begin with, which would have been this card, which would been the fun, the free spirit, the up for anything, you know, joy, happiness, going out. I'm out, out on a limb, I hear. So I do feel back in the day when he had some crazy ideas, like let's just do, I did hear a, a desert thing, something where they just go to the desert in the middle of the night randomly. So it was almost like they had a really crazy, fun relationship to begin with. It was like this fun, fun character. And then it's flipped on its head and I hear the darker sides come out. And again, the darker sides, I'm hearing possessive, controlling, um, not so much jealousy here, actually over him, more, I, I just heard the word entitlement, entitlement. So it's more like the word entitlement around her. So this is how he sees her. And we do have the three of cups again, which does mean he feels that she wasn't faithful to him. Or there was a third party in the connection interfering, okay? Now, the Three of Cups doesn't always mean it's going to be a lover. It could be a meddling mother-in-law, for example, getting involved in the connection and making things really difficult. And I do wonder, actually, I am just picking this up now, guys, about her mum. I hear two against one. So it's almost like, no matter what Johnny would say, that the mum would always take the daughter's side, which is kind of what you would expect. But I did hear the words ganged up on here ganged up on so it's almost like being ganged up on but I do feel he's going to overcome this because we have the tower but the tower it's just it's like that energy of everything falling down but I just sense with this card it's almost like the worst has already happened and he's going to be on his way up from here and I just actually heard the word spiritual journey for him as well so it's almost like for him, this is a life lesson to begin with anyway, and he's going to grow more as a person because of this. But I just again hear he wants to tell his side of the story and it's about clearing his name more than him going in for this for money, because I don't actually have any cards here at all about money. There's nothing here about money. And also with the three of cups about this third person, we also have the moon. OK, so the moon is that kind of energy where hidden emotions and feelings and things being kept from him. I just hear secretive in nature. So he just found her secretive in nature. We're just going to pull another two cards for how he feels. Yeah, yeah. Look, so it's almost like the Hierophant, guys, is this is stability. This is the stability. This is the long term relationship. This could also be seen as like the marriage card as well. So it's almost like he really did feel. I do get like a twin flame soulmate life connection. OK, it's almost like when it was the best, it was the best it could ever be. And he's never had a connection in his life like that. And when I mean like that, I mean twin flame, guys. I don't mean soulmate. So soulmate can almost be like your life partner, marriage, um, settled with a family. Twin flame literally is half of your soul that's both reincarnated at the same time on Earth. It's like half of you. So when it's good, it's the best you will ever get. You will never feel the way you did with anyone else around this person. But when it's volatile, it can be the worst in the world. And twin flames are very famous for being incredibly volatile because they are the biggest teachers in your life. So the energy is more around this, the stability. He wanted the stability and thought it would be his life partner. He had the beauty. He had the fun. She was intriguing to him. Like it, she lit him up. And then it completely turned on his head because then this is where this card came in about the energy that the person he thought she was flipped on its head. 
and I hear dominate, dom, domineering, domineering here, a domineering personality. And he felt ganged up on. I keep hearing the word ganged up on. And then we have the hangman, which means letting go of this connection. So it's almost like when things are too good to be true and you meet someone and it's too good to be true and you think, wow, I've never felt like this. It's amazing. They're beautiful. They're young. Like we just, I hear reliving his youth as well, guys. So it's almost like he was reliving his youth through her. And I hate to say this. I know this sounds really like um, kind of cliche, but in a way, because she was so much younger, he was reliving his youth and he felt kind of like cool again. So it's almost like he, he always knows he's been cool and quirky. He knows that. But it's almost like when he got to the age by the time he met her, he felt like he was his star was fading slightly. It's not really about his star. He wants to be an interesting person. You know, he, he, he would never want to be seen as faded and just... I just heard a faded musician as well, which is funny because you would have thought that would be an actor because he's an acting, but it's almost like the fading muso. He didn't want that to be him. So it's almost, I just heard reliving his call. No joke, reliving his call. So you do get that kind of midlife crisis energy a little bit too when he met her. I will say that. So that's Johnny's cards there. And now we're going to go into Amber's. So Amber's is not the best cards, if I'm honest, because a lot of, a lot of this is to do with money. Um, a lot of the cards here. First of all, we have the Nine of Cups, which literally means the cat that got the cream. OK, this is somebody gloating. This is they've got like nine cups behind them. They're really happy. They literally sat there folding their arms at like saying, yeah, look at me. Look at all my gold. Look at everything I've got. So it's almost like a gloating card because it's feeling like you're very happy about yourself and your achievements. So here this is more of a gloatingness coming through. Um, and punish him, punishment. I just heard to punish him, to punish him. Now, I'm not saying, you know, there was no physical abuse or anything like that, but I I don't, I, you've got to be careful here for a fine line because this goes on all the time, okay? So I want to be careful how I word it. But I get more heavy-handed than outright punching, in, you know what I mean? I just, I've got to just say what the energy that's coming through in the cards, guys, okay? It's not like... I, I keep hearing heavy handed. I'm hearing more heavy handed than anything else. And I feel I keep hearing antagonized, so pushed to the brink. That's what I keep hearing. I'm not I'm not saying it didn't happen, but I'm saying it didn't happen the way she's portraying it, if that makes sense to you, okay? Not the way she's portraying it. Not malicious, I just heard. So not malicious, maliciously really trying to mess somebody up. It, it, it's not that energy in him. The energy in him is more back then lost confused low i do feel as well that when he broke up with vanessa his ex is vanessa parody i think i'm pronouncing that correctly i really feel the reality of his situation when his marriage to amber went downhill hit him hard really hard what did i let go of what did i let go of and again it's that midlife crisis it's almost like that really long-term stable relationship to go with somebody younger crazier up for anything and then when he actually made the flip and moved to, towards Amber, the realisation of what did I leave behind? What have I done? I just heard, what have I done? So that's the kind of energy about Johnny, that regret and what have I done? And I keep hearing beaten down, as in he's been beaten down, okay? You know when someone's just worn down, 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 and they get to breaking point and they snap? That's the kind of energy around Johnny. Um, again, in the past, not so much now, because I do hear keeping his call, cool, keeping his call. Cool. And I do feel that's because in court, I mean, he needs to make a point of obviously he's, you know, I just hear cleaned up his act as well. I, I don't know, guys, I haven't really looked into this for a long time as in what he's doing now. Uh, you know, has he given up everything at all, you know, when it comes to drugs and stuff? But I really feel he has tried to clean up his act. Now, the other card we get is the Nine of Pentacles, but this is reverse. So this is like, again, not the best card at all, because this card means about a woman that feels very confident, very wealthy. They feel like they're dressed in the finest clothes. People are drawn to them. OK, but this is coming up for her reverse, which is all the negative qualities, as in she feels lacking confidence. I do feel issues with how she looks at the moment, how she sees herself feeling like low about herself like she doesn't look her best right now i'm not saying that is like literally i'm saying this is how she feels and this is what the card expresses she's not feeling her best right now down in the dumps doesn't feel like it's just all the negative qualities of this basically it doesn't feel like she has the wealth that she wants either 
because this is reversed. And again, tainted, tainted. So her image is, is being tainted by this as well. And that's why she's going to fight to the end to prove that, you know, it was all, it was all him. It was all him. That's what it's going to be. Then we actually have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, guys, that's usually the new opportunity card, the new job card. This is a brand new financial card. So in my readings, when I usually do readings, it comes up as something very positive, as in a new job's going to come in. Now, because this is reversed in this reading, it's literally the opposite. As in, she feels she's going to not have the chances she had before. That's why she's fighting for dear life here, Okay. Because she does feel as a single mum, she's going to be supporting herself in the future. And she's worried these job opportunities are going to be taken away from her. So this is her biggest fear here. And again, about the money, the wealth, her lights being dimmed. Everything's more about, I would say, more ego and job opportunities and that kind of thing. Whereas in Johnny's reading, it didn't really come through about he's thinking about the money and he's thinking about the jobs. It was more to clear his name. Also, the page of swords here does kind of mean I do pick up. This is just going to be, I just feel this is going to go on forever, guys. I do feel overall Johnny will win as in the public vote. OK, the, when I mean the public vote is in I feel more public are going to have more sympathy towards him than what they did before. So in that sense, it's going to work out well. But I just feel this is going to go on forever. And after this one, there could be even more going on. There could be even more going on. This is all about Page of Swords, big holds up, massive delays, things not going to plan. And I feel that is with the court case, is that it's going to drag on. It's going to drag on. And let's just pick two more cards. And again, that's reversed as well. So usually Eight of Wands means fast, positive movement moving forward. Okay, really fast, positive move, movement moving forward. Now, that wouldn't make sense next to the, 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 the Page of Swords because... I mean, this is delays and this is fast moving forward. But when I pulled it, it's reversed. So again, hold ups, not positive energy, things not going to plan and hold ups. And I will pick one more. But, oh, shit. Sorry, language. <laughs> OK, yeah. Things not going to plan. Walking away from it, walking away from the situation. Not going quite the way she wanted it, okay, guys? Because, yeah, the Eight of Cups is walking away from the situation. I do feel there will be some rewards, though, for her. That does show money coming in towards her as well. So I do feel she will get some kind of payout from this overall. But it's like she will walk away from the situation. And I do feel she has support here as well because we have a very wealthy kind of entrepreneur kind of character backing her here, King of Pentacles, Somebody, I just hear the big boss is on her side. The big boss is on her side. That's so random. But I do feel somebody's there almost protecting her, okay? So she always has somebody to fall back on. There's a guy, I do feel he's older. I do feel he works in the film industry. Now, I'm not saying this is an actor. This is somebody more that could be like a, a director or an investor, maybe more of an investor of films that's kind of taken a back seat that's hidden behind the scenes. So she always knows she has this backing from this guy here. But overall, I do feel she may get some reward from this and payment. But this is the thing. Because it came out with this, I'm wondering if this is the guy that's going to give her the money she needs when she needs it, if that makes sense. But overall, I feel he will clear his name to a certain extent, as in he will win. I keep hearing win the public vote. Win the public vote, Okay. So he will win the public vote. But I do feel she might get some kind of money for being dragged back into court all over again. I do feel she might get some money for being dragged back into court all over again. But overall, this is just going to continue. It just looks at the moment it's going to drag on. So even after this is finished, there's going to be more going on. I just I just feel it's going to really drag on. But anyway, guys, that's the reading for today. Um, and I will do another one. I will do an update on them soon as well. OK, but. Uh, I just think it's going to continue. I think it's going to continue. All the court drama is going to continue. Even after this one, you're going to hear more on the papers. There's going to be more. And when I mean more, I mean something like she might come out in a year's time and say something about him again, which will be defamatory. And then he will take it back to court. He's going to fight this every step of the way. Even in a year's two time when this is over, if she says something, he's going to threaten her with legal action. He's not going to take any crap from this. And that's what I meant by ongoing. But I do feel she will finally walk away and try and close this chapter of her life with all this court stuff. But I do hear a slip up. So I do feel she's going to say something and he will. I just, <laughs> I 
just her drag her ass back to court again. But anyway, that is it. That is it for the reading. Let me know in the comments, guys, who you would like me to check in on next as well. Okay, bye.